I know what you're thinking, Alex. Where are the egg bites? On this afternoon's project with Yarmin. I like how I say a little contour and I just keep adding more. Lily and I just had lunch and of course we ended up at Sephora. <laughs> wow. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Okay, you guys, hopping on here really quick before the vlog starts just to address something. So some of you guys are a little cuckoo and really good detectives and you found out that my mom got a new dog when we were on vacation. She got a new puppy. We were gonna share her when she got home and got acclimated because we did travel home with her and we just didn't wanna share it. We just wanted to enjoy um, her new pup and bringing her home and getting her home safely and calmly. Traveling with her is very easy and we just didn't wanna vlog it and share it until we got her home. But unfortunately, sometimes this job comes with, you know, no privacy and that it is what it is. But um, I've been getting some comments that were a little bit concerning that I just wanted to address. You know, I see all the time that people always say, I shouldn't, me and my mom shouldn't be allowed to own dogs because of what happened a few years ago. You guys remember Coco. Um, Coco had to get rehomed because we had some several violent moments with that dog. I love that dog. It was very hard rehoming for me. We tried training. I'm not going to rehash all of that, but like I've been officially labeled as like a bad dog owner because of what happened. Even though I made sure Coco went to a home that understood him, an old dog trainer. She was the sweetest older woman who understood him and knew about him and he's doing really well. And now because my mom got a new puppy, I've been seeing some comments that were upsetting as well. So I've talked recently about with Max. Um, my grandma has been watching Max because for a while my mom was working a lot of hours. Mimi would watch him, they'd kind of share him. And honestly, Mimi has fallen in love with Max. Her blood pressure's come down, she's happier. And quite frankly, she doesn't love giving him back. And my mom misses having a dog. She has been thinking about getting a new pup and she just fell in love with this one. My mom was also working more hours where with Max, since COVID, he can't be alone. He's been totally, you know, kind of <laughs> messed up since quarantine. So that was, you know, why at first he was spending a lot of time at Mimi's because he was bark, he can't be alone, he will bark. My mom got a new puppy. Her name is Cha-Cha. She is absolutely the sweetest thing in the whole world. We brought her home on the last day of vacation. Um, it wasn't planned. I think when they connected, it was just like meant to be. We weren't planning to go in there and find a dog, um, but they fell in love with each other. And I don't think anyone wanted her either because she was a little bit older and she was heavily discounted and we just felt kind of bad. One of her eyes kind of goes to the side, but she's so freaking cute and just has the sweetest personality. So it wasn't planned. My mom and I are not bad dog owners. I That irks me to my core because I love animals so much. And I just, I think it's really unfortunate that because I had to rehome Coco because of what happened that I've been labeled as a bad dog person when I take really good care of my dog and I love animals. And so does my mom. Trust me, my mom loves Chacha. She loves Max. And it, honestly, you guys don't even know how much my mom has gone through with the Max stuff and how hard it was for her because she loves Max but seeing her mom happy makes her happy and that's just how it how it's been so I just wanted to address that because we were gonna do a whole video with Cha-Cha but somehow you guys figured it out so that's that you guys will meet Cha-Cha very soon this is your sign to be kind and not to judge people thank you guys for watching and enjoy the vlog. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Friday. It still feels like Monday vibes because I got back from vacation the day before yesterday, but it's Friday. I'm getting back to the gym today because I have not been since before vacation. <laughs> I am continuing the yogurt parfait vibes from vacation because it's just so good. So we've got the light and fit Greek yogurt, 12 grams of protein, put a little protein granola on top and some blueberries. I'm telling you this combo is like so fire. Ow, bit my lip. I haven't bit my lip in like forever, ow. What's worse, what's worse biting your lip or biting your tongue? Or cheek. You never bit your cheek? You never bit your cheek? Must be my chubby cheeks. What's worse, lip or tongue? 
Mm. Like my eye watered from that. No, sorry, I say tongue. I think tongue is worse. Tongue, yeah, biting I your tongue. If you guys can hear over there, Bruno's still playing with the like rolly ball we got him for his birthday. He loves it and I highly recommend that ball too because it will just like shut off on its own if it's not getting touched for a while. And then when they like touch it again, it will turn back on like even in the morning. So it's really a great find. So yeah, I'm gonna get back into the workout groove today. I mean, the good thing is my mom and I were like really active on our trip, so I don't feel like super lethargic or anything, but um, my workout today I can do from home, which is great. It's the elliptical, so I'll do that. And we have like the bench and the weights and stuff in the garage, so I'm just gonna work out from home, which is good too, because I'm meeting with Lily today. She is home for a few days, um, and I'm really excited to just meet up with her, and we're gonna get lunch and just hang out. So after I work out, I need to kind of just get ready and go. Just enjoying this. I know what you're thinking, Alex, where are the egg bites? I know I'm not the only person who like gets on a kick with food and you kind of hyper fixate on it for a while. I'm not sick of the egg bites, but I am really enjoying the yogurt parfait vibes. <laughs> so um, I'll probably do that for this week and then next week go back to my egg bites. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys want to see the workout routine I'm doing today, it's the same one I did um, for like the in-depth workout with me video from home. I think this is the last Friday of this cycle because my trainer and I switch it up every two weeks. So um, I will link that video down below if you want to see the workout. I think I'm wearing this workout top in that video too. Okay, I will check back in with you guys in a few hours when we are getting ready. Okay, you guys, I just took a shower and now we're gonna get ready to go meet Lily for lunch. I had my hair in like those little twisted braids. It added a little little something. I'm like trying to decide if I wanna do my hair or not. It'll kind of depend how much time I have. We're definitely running a little tight on time, but I have my bag here from vacation. So I've got stuff right here. Also, I just put on a bunch of Boom Boom cream lotion. So let's do a little of the body spray that matches. I ordered the pink one. Everyone is loving the pink one right now, so I wanted to see what it smelled like. I'm telling you guys, try the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Like, so, like, so good at covering blemishes. I used it with the Jessup um, Face Brush, part of that Amazon brush kit. I'll link that again. You guys are loving that. Like, ugh, just covers pimples so well any acne marks under your eyes and then you just have to use so much less foundation this was legit like all i wore on vacation in terms of like coverage i need to figure out what shade i am because i am tan from my trip we're gonna do the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin in shade number six let's just try a little that's pretty good Let's do that. I didn't do primer, but I just did all my skincare and I threw on the Tula Protecting Glow uh, for SPF. Ooh, okay, that looks really good with my tan. We'll take it. We'll take it. Anytime the color looks kind of okay, we're just gonna, just gonna roll with it. I am on a little bit of a time crunch. <laughs> I lollygagged a little bit before my shower. I am so happy that I get to see Lily while she's home because she came home kind of for like a family emergency and she had time to like just grab lunch and I'm like, yay, <laughs> I get to see you. And we're just gonna blend that down the neck because I don't know about you guys, but always a little pale right here because I always forget to like put my neck up when I'm in the sun. That foundation is so pretty. I'll link all the makeup I use. Then we're gonna go in with the one size concealer. A little bit of this also goes a really long way, but it is like a really beautiful formula. I don't reach for it that much because it's, well, it's more of like a summer one for me because it's like a little too dark when I'm pale to like brighten under the eyes. But like with a tan, it's like the perfect under eye color. We're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, of course. I missed this. <laughs> I didn't bring this with me on vacation but we're just gonna do a little contour i like how i say a little contour and i just keep adding more <laughs> like i can't i can't resist but like it kind of blends in like softly it's not like 
I don't feel like this is that pigmented. Like it's kind of subtle, which is good if you have a heavy hand like I do. <laughs> this is also from that Amazon brush collection. I'm telling you, get the brushes. And we're just gonna blend in that nose contour with my beauty sponge. Let me know your favorite beauty sponge right now down below. Like, are you still a beauty blender person? Do you prefer something else? Cause like, I also love the e.l.f. Total Face sponge. Like, I feel like that one is so good. Let me know your fave. On vacation, these are the two Charlotte Tilbury matte blush wands that I brought. And oh my gosh, are they so pretty. So I'm gonna switch to a different one because I've been using those. I'm gonna use Pillow Talk for the first time. Just straight up Pillow Talk. Let's see. Ooh, <gasps> so pretty. You literally just need one dot. This stuff is so pigmented. <gasps> this color is gonna be so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love everything Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It's so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. It's kind of like a nude mauve color. Who am I kidding? Let's put one more dot. <laughs> okay, love, 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 love this color. <gasps> oh my God, that's my new one. That's my new fave. I hadn't tried that one yet. <gasps> oh my God. Y'all, the hair is like finally getting long and I'm just <sighs> biting that urge to chop it all off. I just really need to like force myself to style it. Is that, Cause that's like the problem for me. It's like once it gets too long, I just never want to style it cause it's more work and it's always getting snarled. But I just need to force myself like, cause I do enjoy having longer hair and being able to like do a lot of styles and blah 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 but like forever in my heart also kind of just like love my hair in a bob and i'm a bob girl <laughs> all right baking with the laura mercier translucent of course and i'm just gonna set the rest oh i didn't blend out the contour under my chin <laughs> uh oh locking everything in place with translucent powder Gotta cover the neck so it doesn't transfer on my clothes. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear. I don't even know, I haven't been outside yet. What's the temperature? Okay, I'm gonna go in now with my Precious Gems palette from Amazonian Clay, not from Amazonian Clay, Tarte Amazonian Clay, but we've got everything we need on this palette. We're gonna do Park Ave Princess Bronzer. And I feel like the color Lux looks the most like that Charlotte Tilbury blush. So we're gonna kind of go with that theme. I haven't done like full skin in a minute and it feels really good. <laughs> Ooh, I wanna use that new Rare Beauty highlighter. Let me go grab it. I showed you guys this in a recent vlog. So pretty, but I haven't like worn it with makeup yet. This is the shade Mesmerize. Oh, guys, it's so pretty. <gasps> wow. It's got like a slightly champagne-y pinky hue. <gasps> I love it. I just want to like slather it everywhere. I want to get more Rare Beauty. Let me know your favorite Rare Beauty stuff. All right, I'm going to just set my skin with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better, of course. You guys know the drill. And then for brows, the NYX Thick It and Stick It, my baby. I've gone through several tubes of this. I feel like if you go through several tubes of like a makeup or skincare product, then you know you like really love it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the NYX Tame and Frame pomade just a little bit of that to fill in the tail like in a quick moment you can use that pomade and just get away with only using that but like if i'm doing a full moment then i'm just gonna add a little something on my sparse areas i'm just gonna take a little bronzer in my crease because i care more about skin than eyes i have had this eyelash curler for years and years like it's from house of lashes i don't even know if they're still in business they might be but like at what point do you need to get a new lash curler like I, do i i don't feel like i need a new one it works the same maybe when it breaks <laughs> also i feel like i cracked the code actually it's probably nothing new i'm using waterproof mascara i'm telling you my lashes on vacation were like the best they've been and don't get me wrong i still love my thrive mascara but i feel like these just hold a curl and stay up so much better this is the lash paradise in waterproof oh my god it was so good i've definitely heard people say before that waterproof helps them stay up better but like i've never really tried it with like curling first and wow it's a game changer 
Like, look at those lashes. That's really good for me because I don't have like amazing lashes by any means. Okay, so you guys told me that the NYX lip pencil in Peekaboo is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So I want to try it. It looks like it's going to be good. Ooh, that is sharp. Ooh, okay. You guys know I'm like a NYX stan. Okay, this is so good. This is so pretty. I wear Pillow Talk almost every day. So like, I know. I know what it looks like. This is a great dupe. You guys are the best. All right, if you want a dupe, here it is. Wow, gorge. And I'm just gonna put some of the Tarte Maracuda Juicy Lip Plump on top in the shade Peachy Beige. I've also gone through this twice. Makeup is done. I'm trying to figure out if I want to wear my hair down. Um, yeah. I definitely don't have time to like really do anything to it. I guess I could just wear it down, like throw some oil in the ends. But like it just, meh. I'll probably put it up in the clip. Who am I kidding? I am still determined to wear my hair down more this year, but not today. I'm still getting back from vacation because yesterday I ran around like a chicken with my head cut off. Because when I get back from vacation, I just feel like there's so, so much to do. Sorry, y'all. I know you like when I wear my hair down, but I gotta be comfortable. I have my little earrings in from Miranda Fry. Look at this cute little heart. Miranda Fry necklace. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw a little white in my waterline. I know that's like probably chuggy or whatever, but I like it. I don't know. It just like does something for my soul. Okay, so my outfit are these Eloquii jeans. I love these jeans. I've been wearing them so, so much. Then just this white uh, t-shirt from Target, my favorite. And then this old um, kind of cut off corduroy jacket from a boutique, I can't remember which one, um, but I've had it forever and it's like 50 degrees, so it's perfect for spring. Many hours later. Lily and I just had lunch and of course we ended up at Sephora. Glossier, Glossier. she loves Glossier. Hello, how are you? Good. Oh, I wanted to get this. Is it a sign? <laughs> I was just telling the vlog I wanted to um, buy some more. This is what I'm wearing today. It's gorgeous. They have so much. I want to try more of it. Oh, the bronzer stick. That's what I wanted to try. I got to get the bronzer stick. Guys, this smells so good. A few moments later. Okay, you guys, back home. It was so good seeing my girl. I took my hair clip out because it was just about that point where you girls get in a headache. You know those moments where it's like, just need to take out the hair clip. So I did... <laughs> I did pick up a few things from Sephora. Sneak peek, yes. So I need a new face mask. Um, I've gone through most of my face masks and I have a couple that are really, really old. <laughs> I'm like, I should probably get new ones because they're like years old. So I got this one from Youth to the People, Super Clay Purifying Clearing Power Mask. I also got this little baby beauty blender. Oh, it's so cute. I've been wanting to get one of these because I love doing the concealer under my eyes and this will just help me be so much more precise. So I've wanted to grab one of these and I just did it. I like to have travel size perfume in my purse and I have been wanting to try the Sol de Janeiro um, perfume because I love the body mist. And I tried the sample in Sephora and it was so, so good. Oh, does it twirl? Does it pull? Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay. It's pull, it's pull. Yes. Mm. Oh, it just smells like that classic summery, tropical vanilla. It's just like summer in a spray, but I love that they have a perfume, not just a body spray. So it's the number 62, because they have different numbers now. I think this was just the like original. You know, I didn't even know that they made new ones until recently. I also had ordered the pink bottle one on Amazon because everyone like loves it. It's more flowery. I smelled it in Sephora today and I didn't love it. I didn't love it like I love this one. So I might return that from Amazon. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I had really high expectations and I just, I don't know. I like the original more. I grabbed the Rare Beauty bronzing stick. I have wanted to try this. It was sold out online, so I got it at the store because this is so good. I see people using it all the time. I got the shade Happy Soul bronzer stick. So beautiful and like creamy, perfect shade. They were out of a lot of 
rare beauty stuff. I also got a acne treatment from Ink Keyless. This is only 10 bucks, formulated for all skin, blemish prone, clear blemishes fast. It has salicylic acid, but it also has like other stuff in it. <laughs> so figured I would try it for when I get spots. And then the last thing I got is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. I got just the mini one to try it first because this is not cheap and I just want to see if I like it. Um, you guys know obviously I have highlighted bleached hair. My hair has been through a lot but I keep it pretty healthy with the products I use. So um, I've seen people really rave about this. So I'm excited to try it. It's the world's first patented, patented biotech treatment that renews chemically damaged hair from the inside out in four minutes. Strengthen, soften, smooth, bounce, restore. All these great words, right? So I guess like you leave it in your hair when it's you know, clean and whatever for four minutes to activate it. Do not rinse out, style as usual. So yeah, I got the little one. I shall report back and see. So yeah, that's my little Sephora haul. I'm gonna go take my makeup off, do some computer work, and then we're just gonna have a chill Friday night in. We are both tired. <laughs> so yeah, we started watching selling, selling. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Miami. What is it? Beverly Hills. I, yep, I got there. Beverly Hills. Um, it's definitely like giving selling sunset. Many hours later. Back with another fan favorite. I recreated the HelloFresh meal again and made enough for leftovers tomorrow. So I just butterflied these chicken. I did a little uneven. This was the bottom parts. I pounded it and then for the mixture, it's just panko, parmesan, and some seasonings. Sprayed it with a little avocado oil to make it stick. And then we have some uh, mashed sweet potato and some roasted broccoli. It's so good. And I seasoned this with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. We have been having a very saturday e Saturday, which has been so nice. Oh, you want to say hi? Wow. You are just the most handsome in the world. Look at that, boy. Your hair is growing in and it looks very handsome. Very handsome. Yara and I are almost cool with this length because it's just not that shocking. But he still has a little fluff, but his fur is very manageable. And yeah, he's got a little curl back. It's nice. It's nice. So <laughs> we were trying to decide how we wanted to like spend our day. I'm still really tired from my trip. I feel like I sound like a broken record, um, but I'm, I'm just tired. So I've been home a couple of days and like since I got back, I've just been like working a lot, catching up on like house stuff and I'm just pooped. So we have just been sitting on the couch for hours <laughs> and watching failure to launch. And we both agreed. He wasn't even into it at first. I mean, this is how it goes with like, husbands i feel they don't want to watch something and then 20 minutes in they're like totally invested and he's like oh my god and we both agreed they don't make rom-coms like they used to they really don't like i want to see sarah jessica parker zoe deschanel old rom-coms i mean it's not that old but it's like kind of old they're just the best 51st dates yes man jim carrey like i want to just i love old rom-coms oldish I use that word lightly, but really, really good. So we're watching that. Um, my beloved husband is changing yet another sound system in our house. I mean, same sound system, different setup. He spent so much time putting that wire cover. Oh, now the stands are back. You know what though? We give each other a lot of slack because he is with like sound system tech stuff the way I am with home decor, always changing, always moving things around. And we both are just like, do what you want <laughs> just do what you want as long as it's a i mean i do appreciate with him he does like keep the aesthetic in mind for me so that is very very nice so yeah we're chilling we're just gonna like honestly have a lazy day it's rainy it's the perfect saturday right now just me yar and bruni chilling and i'm telling you guys i know i say this a lot i'm like updating you but that ball that amazon ball <laughs> still he's still loving it we watched um the newest episode of servant last night oh my gosh next week's the finale 
Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see how this all comes together. Like they left it on a cliffhanger, of course. She didn't say yes or no. She didn't say yes or no. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then after we finish that, we're gonna start The Last of Us because it's like so popular. Everyone's talking about it. And when everyone's talking about a show, I mean, it's usually like good. It's usually for a reason. Like that's how it was with White Lotus. Like everyone talked about it. We were like, oh, okay. So we're gonna watch that after and we'll be able to binge that. So, all right, I just wanted to check in. I'm wearing my new Empathy sweatshirt. I love it. It's really nice quality. And I love the little always on the sleeves. The time has finally come. Christmas tree in the bedroom has to go. It's been cozy. It's been real. It's time to go. And I'm contemplating moving our olive tree. <laughs> over there in, in replacement. So let's just see how it looks. Let's just, let's just take a gander. I've kept this box in my office for months. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Goodbye, Christmas tree. See you in eh, about eight months. It is funny though, the older I get, like time flies. I don't really get sad about stuff ending anymore, like Christmas, cause I'm like, it'll be here again before I know it. But when you're a kid, time goes by so slow. Like summer vacation feels like forever, forever. And then when Christmas ends, it feels like it's gonna be forever until it comes back. There's some sort of sorcery to fit this all in here, but whatever, we're gonna make it work. Until next year, we'll send this down to the basement with Yara. And I also have my Christmas stuff that was in my office that was also <laughs> chilling in my office. And I'm going to put this blanket in there as well, just because hopefully I'll remember that was my makeshift tree skirt. Okay, but I kind of love the olive tree over here um, versus where it was over here. So what do we think? Yeah, I know it's green and green, but I don't think I mind. I think I love. A few moments later. Okay, just kidding, <laughs> I changed it. Um, I moved this to my office and brought in that bowl from my office. Cause I don't know, it was a little too much green, but this bowl, I think they still have it at Target. So if you want the bowl, this is now the setup. On this afternoon's project with Yarman, he is, uh, he is adding a sound bar in the bedroom because he loves Sonos. Sonos is very good, I will say. <laughs> like we have it downstairs and we've been watching a lot of TV in bed. So he got a sound bar for the bedroom and there's a contraption on there that, yeah, a contraption that will hold it against the TV. I am in charge of watching. <laughs> And holding back Bruno. <laughs> it's all about that sound quality. Yeah. Also, guys, now I'm upset that there's two bowls here, so I might have to change this. I have something else. I'm just going to swap it with stuff in my office. So, anyway, stay tuned. Okay, we just put the TV back on, and it's going to mount right there on, like, a little shelf. So, this one is the beam, the Sonos beam. We have the bigger one downstairs, so... We'll see, and they also, <laughs> Yarman knows how to get me. They have these Sonos speaker lamps at Ikea, and they're cute. You should show them. <sighs> yeah, I'll put one on screen. They're cute. Um, so <laughs> he's going to get his surround system, but, like, I love these lamps. They're so cute. Bada bing, bada boom. That's some uh, marital compromise. All right, yep, oh, almost. I can still see that one black wire. This one? you're touching, yep. Nice. We just listened to how it sounds, guys. It's really good. And it looks so nice with that shelf. We were contemplating between the white and the black speaker, and I actually think the white looks really good. They were out of the black, and we were like, well, let's just see how the white looks. Yeah, love it. How does that look? Sleek. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, I like that so much. And it sounds so much better. Are you sniffing dad's butt? <laughs> now we're gonna go grab dinner with some friends. And you're gonna have to stay here. You're gonna have to stay here and be a good boy, okay? 
Good morning. Happy Sunday. Well, it's not morning. Now it's almost two. I did film a little morning vlog for reels this morning. I went and got my nails done. I got some flowers. So I'm going to insert that morning vlog here. I am feeling daylight savings time right now. I've been tired since I got back from vacation, but now I'm just like... But good morning, happy Sunday. Should we try to flick the lid like everyone does? Ooh. Yesterday I broke my nail. So I'm gonna go get my nails done this morning while Yara is at basketball. This was my vacation color, now it's back to neutral. The pharmacy just called me for like the fifth time and they're like, come get your prescription. I can already feel my Florida tan slipping away. Cheers. My hair is kind of dirty, so let's just slick it back. I'll like wet this brush and kind of slick it down. And our trusty old wax stick. This is linked on my Amazon. And then I'll brush it through and it's like the perfect slick back. Good morning. Good morning. How was your stretch? Slay. I need a new hairspray. <laughs> hey man, spraying. The hairspray spraying. Why do we always go into country ones? Saber printers. Saber printers. Jewelry. Cute little chubby hoops are also on Amazon. Like they're so cute. Link in my bio, obviously. And we'll do this Miranda Fry necklace. Let's get dressed. Comfy outfit of the day. Big stretch. And the zoomies. Okay, but have you ever seen a more beautiful avocado? It matches your sweatshirt. I was just gonna say it matches my sweatshirt. <laughs> Okay, I have 15 minutes until my appointment. I got my Walgreens and now you can stop harassing me. And I'm gonna grab a quick car wash because I have salt all over my car. I love a car wash. Made it with two minutes to spare. Let's go get these nails done. There's a Trader Joe's next to the nail salon. I couldn't resist getting some flowers, but I got one of my favorite nail colors, Don't Bossa Nova Me Around from OPI. That's it, have a good Sunday. It's annoying because um, like TikTok will allow you to upload, I think three minutes. I think I've seen some people say you can do 10 minutes now. And then YouTube, you can only do a 60 second short. And then Instagram, you can do 90. <laughs> so it's like trying to edit it all different ways, but that's the long version. So that was on TikTok. Um, and I want to show you guys the flowers I got because I put them in this vase that I got on Amazon. You guys, the flowers are so pretty. I got ranunculus and then I don't know what the little ones are called, but I love this vase. It's on, from Amazon. It's kind of like a dupe for the H&M one um, and a little bit cheaper. It's so pretty with like the ribbing and then it's just, so, oh, I love it. So they had different shapes too. I will link that. Um, I just opened it this morning from Amazon and I just love the way that this like little setup here looks. So I'm going to end this vlog here because we want to just spend our Sunday afternoon together off camera and just have some quality time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you know I'll be back again soon. All right, bye.